Hello everyone, it's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and I'm back with a tutorial from the most recent January 2021 bargain bead box. This is a necklace design I recently came up with with all beads that can be found in the box except for size 11 OC beads. I even used the chain that came in the box, the clasp, the jump rings. So all you need to add besides the seed beads are a couple of wire guards if you have those. If not, you can just loop some seed beads there to attach to your jump rings and chain. But it just so happened I had some extra material, so I figured we would make this together. The beaded portion here, it's going to start with a base of right angle weave. And if you've never done any bead weaving before, I have a beginner's video on an intro to right angle weave. So I will try to link that in the corner. I have my size 10 beading needle threaded with approximately 10 feet of beading thread at this point. We may have to add some more on. I will let you know if I do. But that right angle weave first portion is pretty thread thirsty. So I wanted to make sure that I had plenty to get through that with without having to add on thread in between. So go ahead and gather your materials. If you're making this with me, I'll have the full materials list down below, as well as the link to the bargain bead box if you're interested in checking out that subscription, as well as a coupon code. You can see these beads unboxed in that subscription on my channel just a couple weeks ago. All right, we're gonna start out with our light pink crystal rondelles. I'm going to clear everything else away so we can jump into this tutorial. All right, to begin this necklace, I am going to pick up four of these rondelles and I'm going to string them down about halfway because I don't want to have 10 feet of thread that I'm working with on one side. So I have a really extra long, like five foot tail thread, and we will use this after we have exhausted this thread. That's just a little tip if you want to avoid adding thread sometimes. So I have four beads strung on to about the middle of my thread, and then I'm gonna take my needle, and I'm gonna go back around through all four of these beads. And when we pull our thread, this forms a loop or starts to, now you have to go through one more bead in order to complete the loop. And you'll probably wanna use a light colored thread for this. I'm using the black fire line because it is much easier to see in the tutorial. So use a light color if possible because you can see how that thread shows up even inside the beads. All right, so just in this corner, I'm gonna go underneath that thread bridge and I'm going to tie a little half hitch knot just to get things secure for our start. Now I'm going to go down through that bead on the right hand side and we're going to continue with our right angle weave until we have used up almost all of these pink rondelles that came in the subscription. So we're going to continue by adding three at a time onto the one that is sticking out on the end. We're coming out of the bottom of this bead and we're going to swing around and go through the opposite side with three new beads and then head over to the right just doing this one bead at a time and pull then head up through one bead and pull and now you're ready to add three more you're gonna go through the opposite side of the bead that you're currently exiting. So we're gonna go up through the bead this time. Pull those close. Now head over to the right. Pull. And then head down the bead on the end. You wanna tighten this as much as you can within reason, but we will be going back through and over the top of this right angle weave. So it should tighten up as we get through the piece. You wanna continue in this manner with the right angle weave of these pink rondelles until you have about 10 units. Right here, I'm considering this three units, one, two, three. So go ahead and do seven more. You'll just wanna have two beads remaining that we'll use on either side of the necklace at the end. So you should have enough to do that. Once you have 10 units strung on your thread, I'll meet you back and we'll continue on with the next steps. 
All right, everyone, welcome back. So now that you've reached the end of your right angle weave base, turn your piece in such a way that you'll be able to swing down through a row. In this case, it's gonna be this row, which is gonna be the bottom, which is where we're going to pop in one of these bicones in between each of these gaps. So I'm coming down out of this rondelle and I'm just gonna continue this time toward the left. So I'm going back through that bottom bead and then I'm picking up a bicone and then heading through the next rondelle, then picking up a bicone, going through the next rondelle and repeating this all the way down till we reach the other side of our piece. Just pop those into place. You should be using about nine of those if you did 10 units of right angle weave. And they sit in there really evenly. You might just have to use your fingers to pop it in, make sure it's sitting flat and not off to the side or anything. All right, and then my final one going through the last rondelle bead down there. And you should have something like this so far. With the same thread, you're gonna go up through the bead that is on the very left-hand side of your piece because you wanna make your way up to the top now. We're gonna be adding in some smaller crystal rondelles in the gaps at the top, and that's going to cinch this together. Go ahead and pick up a small rondelle and put it in this gap between the bead that's all the way on the left and the one that's on the top to get us started. And pull, and then continue on by adding a small rondelle in each of these gaps. And don't mind my thread here, I had to add on a new piece because my thread got snagged on one of the beads and it snapped. So that's why that looks a little funny. All right, so just continue on all the way down the top row, popping in these smaller beads now. And since you used larger ones on the bottom and smaller ones on the top, it's gonna create a little curve that'll fit nicely around the neck. Okay, going through the last one at the top, and then we're gonna put one more in between the top right and then the one all the way on the side. So pick up one more and go through the next rondelle over there at the side. And here's a look at the base we have so far. Now we're gonna continue on to the bottom row again. We're gonna start embellishing with some of our seed beads to kind of frame out some of these crystals. So grab your 11 O's and we'll continue on. All right, so take your needle and swing through this first rondelle we get to on the bottom row, as well as the first bicone bead. Go through those two beads on the bottom and then pick up five seed beads. and wrap these around the bicone by then going through the bicone in the opposite direction of where you're coming out. And also go through the next rondelle. And then through the next bicone and repeat. So once again, you'll pick up five seed beads And then go back through the bicone in the opposite direction, as well as the rondelle and the next bicone. Keep doing that all the way down to the other side of your piece, and then we'll pick up with the next steps. All right, next, pick up one of your small crystals again and go through the rondelle that is on the left and then go through the small crystal in that next corner up at the top. 
You're gonna need some small crystals again because we're gonna make an X pattern all the way along the center portion of the necklace. We're gonna first pick up three seed beads, one of the small crystals, and then three more seed beads. And we're gonna head left through that bottom left rondelle. Now pick up three more seed beads and go up through that small crystal that's right there in the middle to complete the other side of your X. Give that a nice tight pull and pick up three more seed beads. This time go left through the top rondelle and when you pull this, you can see that you have created your first X. And we're also just gonna go ahead and complete a loop of small crystals on this end that'll be ready for us when we continue on that side of the necklace. So go back through that small crystal and pick up four small crystals. and then go through the small crystal that's on the bottom on the other side of that rondelle. So you're basically making a little loop of crystals going around that left-hand side, and then you're just going to continue with your needle through the bottom pink rondelle, through the next bicone, and through the second pink rondelle there at the bottom. And now we're in place to make another X. So you'll pick up once again, three seed beads, a small crystal, three seed beads, and we're coming out of the right-hand side of the bottom rondelle. We wanna go through the opposite side of the top rondelle. So I'm gonna go through the left-hand side of that one and then we're gonna finish up that X by picking up three seed beads going down through just crossing through that small crystal in the middle and picking up three more seed beads and this time going through the rondelle on the opposite side so going toward the right And you can see when we pull that, we have another X made. So let's continue on. We're gonna go through the next bicone and the next rondelle. With this one, same thing. We're coming out of the right-hand side. We wanna pick up three seed beads and a small crystal and three seed beads. And go through the top rondelle but through the opposite side, so going from left to right, picking up three more seed beads, then going down through that middle crystal, picking up three more seed beads to finish our X, and going through that bottom rondelle, this time from left to right and then hold your thumb and your forefinger there and pull. And there is our next X. So we'll just go through the next bicone and the next rondelle to get ourselves in place. You can go ahead and complete those X's all the way down until you get to the very end and we'll pick up there where we left off. All right, so that is all of the X's in the middle and I need to pop in a little crystal on this side between these two rondelles. So I've got one on my needle and I'm gonna go up through this rondelle and then over and through that crystal toward the left-hand side. You may have run out of your thread already if you did about five feet on either side. And if you did, you can just continue on with the thread that you have here and just weave your way back through the piece to pick back up. I've still got a little bit more thread, so I'm just gonna go ahead and continue on from here. I wanna go through the next rondelle heading toward the left and then the next small crystal. And then I'm gonna pick up three seed beads and go back through the small crystal, 
through the next rondelle and then through the next small crystal. And we're wrapping three seed beads now over the top of the small crystal, just like we did here at the bottom with the bicones. In place again to pick up three more seed beads and go through the small crystal in the opposite direction and head through the next rondelle and through the next small crystal coming out of that one. And you can see it popped another three little seed beads up there over the top. Let's continue on. And just keep doing that until you get to your last small crystal before the last rondelle. All right, so I'm going around that last small crystal I exited out of this rondelle, and I'm gonna continue on until I get through these three small crystals on this side. And then I have just enough thread, I'm gonna add three seed beads. But then we just wanna go through the next crystal, that one only, pop those three seed beads into place on that end. And now we're gonna pick up four more seed beads and head up through this X right here. Just head up those seed beads just like that and up through that middle crystal. Then head up through the seed beads there on the top left, those three. Then pick up four 11 O's and now head through crystal number three and put one more seed bead right in between these two. So I picked one more up, and then I'm just heading back through that small crystal there on the side, and I'm going to knot off my thread at this point, and we'll continue on after I do that. All right, so I put the needle on my other thread, my really long tail thread, and I just wove my way following the thread path up to this seed bead here on the far end of the left-hand side. And I'll demonstrate what I did on one side, and it's going to be exactly the same thing on the other. So just repeat these steps to do your other side. Once we're coming out of that seed bead at the very end, you want to pick up one other seed bead, as well as another one of your bicones, and pick up three more seed beads. String those down. And then you're gonna return through the bicone. And pull that to your work. And you can see now the bicone has three little seed beads on top of it. And we're coming out of this side of the bicone. Pick up one more seed bead. And then go through the opposite side of the seed bead where we started. And when you pull that, you should have something that looks like this, and we wanna make our way up to this top seed bead. So go up through that first seed bead you added, as well as the bicone, and the next seed bead, and then head over to the left through the seed bead on the end. Now we'll kinda of repeat that same process, this time with one of our rondelles. So I'm going to pick up one seed bead, one rondelle, and three more seed beads. Pull this down to our work. Head down through the rondelle. And pull this tight to your work. Pick up one more seed bead. and then go through the seed bead you had exited, but in the opposite direction. Again, pull this nice and tight to your work if it loosens up on you. And now we wanna head up through that. So we're gonna go up through the seed bead that comes next, up through the rondelle and up through the next seed bead. 
and then we're going to head over to the left through that seed bead on the end. Then you're going to pick up two seed beads, a small crystal, and two more seed beads, and go through the opposite side of that seed bead you had just exited. So that's what we have so far. My thread's coming out of the left-hand side. I'm gonna go through the two seed beads there on the left as well. And I'm ready for a wire guard at this point. Before I put that on, I'm gonna string on two more seed beads and then go around the wire guard, pulling that down to my work going through the other side of the wire guard, picking up two more 11 o seed beads, going down through the two seed beads on the right hand side of the crystal, and that's one side secured. We're gonna fill in these little gaps on either side. I'm gonna pick up another 11 o and I'm gonna go down through this next seed bead on the right that's right in front of that rondelle. Then I'm gonna head up through the seed bead that's on the left right next to it. I'm gonna pick up one more seed bead and go through all four of these seed beads on the left-hand side of the small crystal all the way up to the wire guard, pull. Also gonna go around the wire guard and down through all of those seed beads on the right. I'm gonna go down through the pink rondelle and I wanna exit out of that seed bead that's on the right hand side right after it. I'm going to pick up another 11 o and go down the next seed bead that's sitting right on top of the bicone. Going to go up through the seed bead right next to that on the left hand side of the top of the bicone. Pick up another 11 o Go up through the left hand side seed bead right there before the rondelle. And when we pull this, we get this little shape right there before the rondelle. Now let's head back down through the seed beads. The three on the right hand side, you can just go through one at a time if you need to. And go down through the bicone and the next seed bead on the right. And we're going to kind of repeat the same thing where we're going to pick up an 11 o and pop that in by going through that seed bead on the right, up through the seed bead on the left. pick up another seed bead and go through the seed bead right before the bicone on the left hand side. So this is what your side should look like and I'm just going to keep going with my needle down through these seed beads on the right to get myself over to the other side of the piece to complete the other side just like we did on this side. And I want to tighten up these seed beads right here, I think. So I'm going to go through this first crystal. I'm going to go through these first three seed beads, skip the fourth, and then go through the next three. And that pops that one out a little bit. Now I'm going to go through this crystal, go through these three seed beads here, skip the next one, and go through the next three. And when you pull that nice and tight, you can see it made those stick out a little bit in the corners, and it tightened that up. Now I'm just gonna continue through crystals three and four to swing around. I'm gonna skip the little seed bead that's right there in between, just go through the crystals. 
and I'm going to continue sewing through the top row until I get to the other side and I will complete the other end of my piece just like that. So go ahead and complete both ends and then we will attach to the chain and finish up this necklace. All right, in order to make approximately an 18 inch necklace with the clasp included, and I'm just using what came in this month's bargain bead box, which is the hook and eye loop. I have cut two pieces of chain. It's about five inches per piece. And with this particular chain, it actually has open links. So you can just take your pliers and you can open up these links and attach one of the links directly to one side of the wire guard, just like that, and close it back instead of using an additional larger jump ring. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side, just opening up one of these links and attaching it to the other side, closing that up. And then we can just attach our clasp directly onto some of these larger jump rings that came in the box. And let's see, this will be the left hand side. So I'm going to put the loop over here, close that up. And then the right hand side, put the clasp portion. Just putting that directly on the last link and adding that hook portion before I close that one up. Then we can put this all together and we'll lay it out and take a look and see how it all came out. So there it is, just like the original version, and I just recommend you using a lighter color thread if possible because that thread will show through a little bit inside these lighter color beads if that bothers you. I hope you enjoyed checking out this tutorial and I hope it was helpful for you to have something to go along with this month's bargain bead box. And even if you're not a subscriber, you can of course use all the same types of shapes and sizes. Maybe you already have some and make the exact same type of pattern. I'll leave the links to everything down below in the full materials list and quantities of everything that you'll need, of course. Feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know if you gave this a try or anything else you'd like to say. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate that. And please subscribe while you're here so you'll be notified when I am posting new content. I'll be back again real soon. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your day. And as always... Happy beating.